WeChat is the biggest social platform in the world. And a lot of people don't even know about it. When I was in China about three weeks ago, I don't think there was a single person in that country that did not have WeChat. There's about 1.3 billion people in China. The Chinese diaspora, the Indian diaspora for that matter, two Indians also started to, started to use a WeChat as well in India, is massive everywhere in the world. And what's cool about WeChat is that WeChat makes up Tencent, the holding company of WeChat, it makes up 65% of their revenue annually. But 12 years ago, WeChat wasn't an idea that was proposed by top line executives. WeChat was proposed by a first year associate that graduated from the Hong Kong Science and Institute of Technology. That's crazy. He came in and during his first year at the company 12 years ago, he said, hey, CEO, he literally pitched the CEO on this idea and he said, I would love to build this. And the CEO personally backed him with his own money, not the company's money, with his own money. And to date, 12 years after, that product WeChat, where you can buy a hotel ticket, you can get a movie ticket, you can go through and message people, you can transfer money, everything is currently making up a majority of Tencent's revenue. Does anyone else know what Tencent does? Yep. Video games, did you say? Exactly. So I'm a huge video game nut. The two biggest games in the world right now are Fortnite and Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Does anyone know what those games are? Perfect. I mean, kids also are playing it, right? So we see it everywhere. Those two games are competitors to each other. They're both owned by the same company, Tencent. That was just a little fact to show how bit of a nerd I am, but whatever, that's fine. <laughs> Fostering the right culture. How do we do it now? So I think it's key to note that the WeChat example is actually still relevant today. The first and most important thing with entrepreneurship is a willingness to take on risk. It's a willingness to take a leap and a leap of faith in somebody. Ideally, in the WeChat example, it was taking a leap of faith in a first year associate that was not a proven commodity. That is an incredibly risky decision, especially with the CEO's own personal money. 